Hello everyone, I am Nibetita Kauri, MBBS student at Makura Shomiloni Medical College, West Bengal. In today's video, I am going to explain the process of urine formation. So, let's start. Urine is produced by the nephrons in our kidneys. Urine formation involves three steps, glomerular filtration, reabsorption and secretion. Glomerular filtration is a process of ultrafiltration of blood. While discussing the structure of nephron, I told you that nephron has two parts, glomerulus and the renal tubule. The first part of the renal tubule is the Bowman's capsule. The glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule together they are known as the renal corpuscle. So this is the renal corpuscle. The Bowman's capsule has two layers. Inner visceral layer and outer parietal layer. The glomerular capillary lies in close proximity to the visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule. The capillary endothelium, visceral epithelial layer of the Bowman's capsule and the fused basement membrane between these two collectively form the glomerular filtering membrane but the glomerular filtering membrane doesn't look like this one let us see how it looks like the capillary endothelium contains a number of pores these pores are known as the fenestra and the cells of the visceral layer of Bowman's capsule are known as podocytes because they have a lot of food like processes. Due to the arrangement of the food processes of the podocytes, there are some spaces. The spaces are known as the slit pores. So the fluid leaves the glomerular capillaries through the fenestra, then passes through the basement membrane and then passes through the slit pores and ultimately reach the Bowman's space. Blood is so finely filtered that almost all constituents of plasma except the plasma proteins pass onto the space of Bowman's capsule. Will the blood corpuscles be present in the filtrate? What I told? I told that almost all the constituents of plasma except the plasma proteins will be present Blood corpuscles are not the constituents of plasma, right? So there should be no doubt about this. Blood corpuscles are never present in the filtrate under normal conditions. How much blood is filtered per minute? Approximately one fifth of cardiac output, that is about 1100 to 1200 ml of blood is filtered by the kidneys per minute. And what amount of filtrate is produced? Per minute, 125 ml of filtrate is produced. The amount of filtrate produced by the kidneys per minute is known as GFR or the glomerular filtration rate. So GFR is 125 ml per minute. To maintain the normal GFR, our body has got several protective mechanisms. One of them is renin angiotensin system. Due to any cause, blood pressure can decrease and it will decrease the glomerular filtration rate. A fall in GFR will stimulate the renin angiotensin system. Renin will be released from the juxtaglomerular cells or the JG cells and it will restore the normal GFR by normalizing the blood pressure. For renin angiotensin system, I have made a separate video. The link is given in the description box. Normal GFR is 125 ml per minute. If we calculate the amount of filtrate produced per day, it becomes 180 liters. 
but the volume of urine produced per day is only 1.5 liter. So approximately 178.5 liters of filtrate is reabsorbed. This reabsorption occurs in different segments of nephron. Different substances are reabsorbed either by active or by passive processes. Glucose, sodium ions and amino acids are reabsorbed by active mechanisms. On the other hand, water and different nitrogenous waste products are reabsorbed by passive mechanisms. Apart from reabsorption, secretion of some substances also occur. Different substances like hydrogen ions, potassium ions, ammonia are added to the filtrate by the tubular cells. This is all for today. In my next video on the excretory system, I will talk about the counter current mechanism and concentration of urine. Before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Thank you and happy learning.